Welcome to Developer Experience is for Everyone. I quit my job. Yesterday was my last day at Granger. That's probably not how you expected a talk on developer experience to start, but during my short tenure there, we were able to accomplish some pretty amazing things, and I would like to highlight Granger's journey with Svelte. Granger uses a micro front-end approach, with separate teams creating each user experience. Felt was vetted for two months against other frameworks, including Angular, Elm, Vue, and React. A small representative app was built in each one and voted on by two separate committees. Felt was chosen for its performance, integrated styling and state solutions, no runtime dependencies, and its simple API with familiar syntax. Size in kilobytes was also a large factor. Svelte's bundle size is massively smaller than other frameworks. It also maintains higher performance by avoiding a virtual DOM and using vanilla JavaScript to interact and update elements. Svelte is also written with less lines of code for the same output in equivalent frameworks. Svelte had overwhelming support and was approved to move forward, continuing to evaluate the outcomes. I worked on the core engineering experience team. We were tasked with creating a Svelte design system that would cover any component that crossed between the different teams. During our time with Svelte, we created 11 components and a Svelte kit site that documented them with a playground to see variations and copy code snippets. We successfully helped four teams create entire user experiences in Svelte and Svelte kit. Keep stock web, customer insights, order history, and login. The order history team was able to create the fastest time to market from concept to creation in Granger's 100 year history. This was an incredible feat. Wait, not that kind. Yeah, that works. We were able to do that because of the amazing developer experience Felt provides. Being able to write in a familiar syntax, we were able to quickly onboard new developers and jump straight into creating products that help our customers. Our productivity soared. As I mentioned, Granger.com uses micro front ends, and that allows for various integrations of tooling. Currently, it is built primarily with React and Svelte with some older Hybris jQuery in there as well. A decision needed to be made to align across teams on a single preferred framework that would allow for consistent components, tooling, and best practices. In December, Granger made the decision to go forward with React. I know what we're all thinking but this was the right decision for Granger. A larger portion of teams were already using React and a majority of the site was built with it. In the end, the trade-off was a larger bundle size and worse raw performance for a more widely used technology with larger ecosystem, larger hiring pool and stability. I do advocate for using the best tool for the job and for Granger, that was React. Developer experience, or DX as we like to call it, is not the same for everyone, but it does affect everyone from the developer to the end user. What's right for me may not be what works best for you. Developer experience is the outcome of how a developer feels while using your product. Good DX doesn't get in your way and you probably don't even notice it. It takes away the harder, repetitive parts of programming and provides a nicer approach with less overhead. Chris Coyier puts it eloquently. I like that good DX can be born out of clarity in the uncomfortable bits. Where are the rough edges? Tell me and you earn my trust. Hide it and you lose it. Bad DX feels like a frustrating user experience trying to bash your head on your keys to make it stop. Find those problems and fix them. I found this gem searching for bad developer experience and thought I would throw it in to show how we make progress. No product is perfect and there's always room to improve. The pillars of good developer experience are documentation, support, and a simple API. But at the center of that is community. And Svelte has that in loads. An active Discord with threaded help channels to help provide support. Svelte Society is in nine countries and growing. And our newest group, the Svelte Sirens. A safe space for women, non-binary people, and allies to learn, build, and teach about Svelte. As developers, we look for shortcuts and tools that make our lives easier and make development more fun. That process allows us to iterate through and develop applications quicker, getting things to the user faster. 
We can find and fix bugs, test marketing strategies, and push to production faster. Providing a better DX means you're taking away the harder decisions, making a developer's life easier, producing faster for your customers, and providing the best outcome for everyone. Documentation, examples, and content around using your product are key. When designing tooling, find ways to give developers shortcuts, provide better error messages, and give helpful suggestions, and take away overhead. Felt does all this, plus helpful accessibility hints, less boilerplate, and a syntax that is familiar and able to be picked up quickly. So what's next for me? Time for the big reveal. I'm so excited because this place truly embodies great developer experience and has been the gold standard for me. I've used their product for years and am truly thankful to be part of such an incredible team. I've been patiently waiting to let everyone in on the secret and if you know me, that is really hard. But now I can scream it to the world. This Monday, I will be joining the incredible team at the Developer Experience Engineer at Netlify. I'll see you soon.